Think about 1980s rep cars, you'll probably think about the Ford Sierra, the Vauxhall Cavalier, maybe even the Austin Montego. If you want to be perhaps a little more adventurous, you might think about Japanese cars like the Nissan Bluebird or continental fancies like the Peugeot 405. What you probably won't have thought about is this, the Renault 21. Launched in 1986, the Renault 21 served as a replacement for the old Renault 18 and was replaced subsequently in 1994 by the Renault Laguna. Unlike either of those, however, the 21 has an interesting mechanical situation. You see, this one that we have here is a 1.7 GTS, the smallest engine in the range. This was mounted transversely and the wheelbase was longer as a result. The reasoning behind this was simple. Renault wanted a car that would straddle effectively the Belmont and Orion class equally with the Cavalier and Sierra class and that meant it had to have 1.6-ish and 2.0-litre-ish engines in order to work. But whereas Renault's 1.7 was transverse, its 2.0-litre was longitudinal. These different drivetrains meant that an unusual packaging solution was going to be needed. New wing pressings, inner and outer, and a different subframe were cheaper to develop than a brand new gearbox either for the longitudinal 2.0-litre to make it transverse or for the 1.7 to mount it in line. So we reach the situation where when we take the estate into consideration, the Renault 21 is in fact the only car in the world to come with four different wheelbase lengths. This 21 is in fact a Symphony Edition, a special launched around the same time as the Manager at the tail end of 1987, which features a Philips stereo cassette, six speakers, tinted windows, slightly different upholstery, body coloured mirrors and an electric glass sliding sunroof. Best of all however are the steel hubcaps, complete with chrome rings. They look like someone has made your wheels out of the bonnet of a DeLorean and I love that. What you will notice is that out here in the fens where we're testing this car, the road surfaces are not perhaps as billiard smooth as we would like them to be and yet the ride of the car and the softness of the seats mean that I barely feel a thing. What may be slightly surprising about this, the entry level engine in the Renault 21 range, is that it's got a fair old turn of speed to it when you want it to have. It's certainly significantly in excess of the 1.6 Sierras and 1.6 Cavaliers with which this car was intended to compete. The standard GTS trim is more than adequate but the little extras of the symphony make this into a truly special Gallic classic. So accomplished in fact was the Renault 21 that it became the basis of Chrysler's European range in America. Much like Ford with its ill-fated Mercor project, Chrysler decided that their slice of the pie was going to come from in-house stable mates Renault. This car became the Eagle Medallion as a result of a minor American facelift and was surprisingly popular in a nation used to rather larger land yachts. The 1989 Eagle Medallion pulls the plug on Honda Accord DX and Pontiac Grand Am. Medallion costs less, over a thousand dollars less than Accord. Medallion gives you more interior room, more legroom, front and rear, more standard horsepower with multi-port fuel injection. The 1989 Eagle Medallion. It's lights out, you other guys. A little known fact about the Renault 21 is that for a brief period in 1989, it served as the state car for Czechoslovakia. Then Portuguese president Mario Suarez made a gift of one to the then president of Czechoslovakia, Václav Havel. In the aftermath of the Velvet Revolution, obviously there were quite a lot of changes. However, for that brief period in 1989, the Renault 21 was just as important as the infamous American Beast, as General de Gaulle's custom-built Citroen DS, and as the very British Rover P5B. Most desirable in the Renault 21 range are the turbo models and the fearsome 4x4 turbo Quadra. These super saloons very nearly have what it takes to topple the mighty Sierra Cosworth, but for a fraction of the money. However, any Renault 21 these days is a rare sight, 
they certainly turn heads, and as a family-friendly everyday classic, we can think of few that fit the bill better. Thank you.